Oh, I can't help but shoot a video for you of this abundance, my dear viewers. And it's really not big, rather small supermarket, somewhere in the outskirts of Moscow, not in the center. I'm thrilled. And this is my beloved section of fresh, fresh fish. Mm, my mouth is watering. I want you to visit Moscow, my dear viewers, and you will have a chance to buy fresh, fresh, just baked buns for 15 cents for one. Wow, oh, bakery is, is really perfect here. Hi guys, it's Marina again, and I'm badly in need of some groceries. Uh, you know, I'm getting better and better at keeping my diet. And today uh, I invite you to join me in buying some useful things. Hmm? But first of all, guys, I have a puzzle for you. I have just received my utility bill for January 2023. And now, please click on pause and write in comments what do you think how much i will pay and at the end of this video you will find out the exact figure hmm? of course sometimes i can't resist of buying junk food <laughs> but when you are with me i'm looking forward to buying only the healthiest food in the world. For example, I need cabbage. The price for typical cabbage is 60 rubles for one kilo. I need this one, I think. And I have to wait it first of all. I need to buy some greens, some lettuce as well. Uh, oh, I love this one. Oh, it's on sale, you see, 100 rubles for one package. So now uh, the rate of exchange for today is one dollar seventy-five rubles. So you have to divide all prices in rubles by seventy-five. For sure, I would buy cauliflower, but cauliflower costs too much. Two hundred thirty rubles. That's too much for this this vegetable. I'd rather buy broccoli for 400 rubles, oh my god! But it looks very nice and fresh and it's, it's really very useful. What I see... At the end of section I found cabbage for 23 rubles per kilo. But um, I think it's last year, last year harvest. No. I'd rather buy new harvest. A great deal of different citrus, oranges and mandarins. And I don't see grapefruits. Maybe, ah, it's somewhere there. If you see yellow prices, it means that it's on sale. Yeah, different kinds of grapefruits, and uh, it's also a kind of grape grapefruit. So the price for grapefruit is only 120 with discount. So uh, I'd like to to have one. Oh uh, no, this is pomelo. Uh, this one is grapefruits. So I'll take several. Okay, the price for three big grapefruits is. 155 it's two dollars what's really annoying me is price for cucumbers by the end of winter 
It's always very, very expensive every year. 160 rubles for this cucumbers. No, I see no cucumbers. Uh, and what about kiwi, guys? Would you buy kiwi for 100 rubles for one kilo? Hmm? Great deal of different kinds of tomatoes. Tomatoes. <laughs> Prices for tomatoes are high. As for me, I don't buy tomatoes for for three and four dollars for one kilo. Usually it costs maybe one and a half dollars, but or maybe this. It's cheaper. Oh, I forgot about discounts. So I'll take these tomatoes for 150 rubles, two dollars for 600 grams. I think they are good. Good tomatoes with a man. Okay. And a great deal of tasty canned food, but <laughs> it's not for my diet for sure. But sometimes I love this food. For example, salty tomatoes <laughs> and cucumbers. Not today, Marina, stop it. It's not a big supermarket, you know. It's located somewhere in the outskirts of Moscow, but have a look at this abundance. <gasps> you can buy this sausage, one kilo of sausage, and eat it all day long. For, for less than five dollars. Oh my god. All food you need. Really, but I, what I need? I need eggs. Let's see prices. 85 rubles with discounts. These are the best. 10 eggs, you see? 10 big eggs, but the cheapest price is, let me see, 75 rubles. You see, for 10 eggs, 75 rubles is one dollar for 10 eggs, but I will buy, I will buy more expensive for 85. Just have a look at this, wow. Wonderful eggs. I will eat all of you. I told you it's not very big supermarket, just a typical local uh, grocery store. It's located just 15 minutes walking from my house. Uh, and um, around my house, I have just uh, about five supermarkets and uh, I visit mostly them. Uh, this is really quite nice and even Dobre Kola <laughs> Jang Jang beverage just the replacement of uh, Coca-Cola company who left our beloved Russia I'm fish eater guys and I'm so happy that fish uh, is included in my diet uh, but I'm not going to buy frozen fish. Mm, there are a great deal of different kinds of frozen fish, even tuna and a lot of herring, salty herring, but I don't need it. I am looking forward to buying fresh fish because this section is small here, but uh, fish is so attractive and very, very fresh. Do you remember how to find out whether this fish fr fresh or not? If the gills are red, so it means the fish is, is perfect and it smells so good. Of course, salmon and trout fillets uh, are expensive. It's about uh, maybe um, 17 $15 for one kilo, 
but I prefer to buy this trout, Karelian trout. And its price, you see, 700 rubles only. It's less than $10 for today's rate of exchange and it's very, very nice. You see, they keep it in, in ice and snow. Oh, my favorite sea bass, also about eight or nine dollars. And dorada. Mm. So, will you give me a piece of advice what to buy? Trout, dorada, or sea bass? Hmm? I think. <laughs> I think trout. Let's check. Yeah, you see, red gills. Yeah, trout, let it be. Yeah, it's my choice for today. Dar. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, one and a half kilos. One fish costs approx approximately 1,000 rubles. Okay, nice, nice price. Oh, let it be. Oh, my dear viewers, when I see this section of ready-to-eat food, my mouth is watering and watering and watering. Have a look at this um, barbecue or shashlik, as we call it in Russian. It's from pork and uh, again from pork but another type of cooking and, and potato and baked chicken you see prices are really nice um, shashlik of course is a little bit more expensive it's um, approximately 900 rubles for one kilo but chicken is has appropriate price just 50 500 rubles for one kilo of course, I'm not going to buy it. Would you like to see what we have chosen with you? Fish, eggs, greens, tomatoes, grapefruits, kiwi. Oh, what else do I need? Of course, I like salads, Russian salads, but uh, this all with the mayonnaise. And it's forbidden now for me. A, a wonderful section of fresh baked buns is <laughs> is also closed for me 12 rubles for one bun it's about 15 cents maybe have a look at that mm, different kinds of buns from different kinds of floors not today i feel like eating my fish for dinner today not this not this stunning bread of course, <laughs> but nobody forbid me just to watch and to show you the prices for sure. Prices are not so high, it's about maybe 40 rubles for a rather big loaf of bread. And this section is, this section is, <laughs> I don't know what to say, but it drives me crazy. With its smell. And have a look at this. My beloved snails with different fillings. One dollar for one snail. And uh, different pies and small pizzas. And it's a kind of hot dog. Everything is, is very fresh and nice. <laughs> Maybe next life I will eat it all. Donuts. 70, 80 cents. Uh, prices are not, not so high. Croissants with chocolate. Oh. And pies with cottage cheese. And have a look at that. <laughs> I don't want 
to come back home with all greens and vegetables I've bought. Uh, it's wonderful dairy department, dairy section. I don't drink milk, only alternative milk. I have almond milk at home. And what else we have? So products from farms. And again, dairy, dairy section. So uh, what's price for milk? It's about $1 for one liter. Of course, with discount. Wow, this honey and these jams and caramels are really very good, very nice, perfect. But I can't eat it now because it's all contain, it contains sugar, of course. But as for nuts, I'll think. Uh, prices for nuts are biting. Just 600 rubles for half a kilo. No, I think I'll buy nuts at the local market. It's cheaper, for sure. That's all, my dear. That's all we have for today. Not much, not much, but that's all I need. So, for all this stuff, I paid 1,836 rubles, and my discount was approximately 400 rubles. So, all this costs about $25. Write down in comments, please. Is it expensive or cheap uh, for your country, for your groceries? And now it's time ba -ba 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 -ba, to show you the total sum in my utility bill. Are you ready? This is my bill for January 2023. And have a look at that. The total sum is 5,200 rubles. It's about $75. But, uh, you see, uh, this bill does not include the payment for electricity. Uh, this is only for hot and cold water, garbage uh, collection and removal, elevators, uh, heating, barriers, and general technical maintenance. I think it's very, very good price. Of course, I'll get one more bill for electricity. Usually uh, it's about $20. So total sum for a month uh, for my three rooms apartment will be less than $100. And here is the link of how people, how Russian people spend their vacations.